Hello, Matt Lighting here, and today I'm going to be showing you a little showcase of my Starforge Damage Over Time Cyclone build. The framework is nearly identical to your standard two-hand resolute technique melee build. But since we're using Starforge and we deal in zero elemental damage, all our damage becomes physical, so the obvious route is to scale our physical damage through bleeds and poisons thanks to Voidheart. Because of this, we utilize many damage over time support gems, along with a highly buffed up version of Vulnerability. Vulnerability Curse allows us to essentially double dip on our initial hit and our corresponding damage over time from Bleed and Poison. Devoto's Devotion offers everything we want in stats, along with a nice target for our Lab Enchant Vulnerability Curse Effect buff. On top of this, we use the Brass Dome to grant us some nice physical mitigation, along with taking no extra damage from critical strikes. The rest of your gear should be rares focusing on life, res, movement speed, and flat physical damage when possible. Your only mandatory aura is Blasphemy linked with Vulnerability. I've decided to run Cyclone off of mana, and a minimal amount of 0.6 physical attack damage mana leech is required to sustain your Cycloning. Past that for gems, it's your standard part of the course, cash of damage taken set up, a Leap Slam setup, a Vengeance setup for counterattacks. You can, if you'd like, swap in any sort of Val skills. It's pretty mix and match. For your actual Cyclone setup, all you really have is Cyclone, Conch Effect, Melee Fizz. Past that, you're simply scaling your AoE and your damage over time. So increased AoE, Rapid Decay, and Void Manipulation. Gearing in general is a difficult thing, obviously, for a new league, considering your weapon is gated behind Shaper, which is considered endgame content, the most endgame content. Our ascendancies in order are Bane of Legends, Headsman, Endless Hunger, and Impact, granting us increased AoE, Fish Reflect Immunity, 20% Calling Strike, Persistent Leech Through Overkill, and Impact finally for a little extra AoE boost. The skill tree is your standard two-hand melee. You can swap around while leveling until you have your Star Forge. The only difference between your endgame tree and your normal two-hand tree is the Dirty Techniques Damage Over Time node to the southeast of Duelist along with grabbing Iron Reflexes and the Frenzy Charge along the way. Because we're using a sword, most of the sword nodes in general are pretty shit. Jewel sockets are always super strong because they have what we call double dipping mods. Damage, or area damage or physical damage, that allows the damage of the initial hit along with the damage over time to benefit from both sides of it. You always want to have life and shock chance because Starforge allows our melee attacks to shock. So granting shock chance on 3 to 4 jewels can get us a nice 10 to 12% shock chance because of our high attack speed. Shock things pretty often, which of course makes their damage over time and the initial hit tick for more and hit harder. The actual playstyle is pretty run and gun in general. The majority of the time you're leaping around and your leap slam will be enough to kill most packs, even up to T15 maps. Your single target is quite high, although it falls off a little on mobs that have higher armor. Since Starforge is such a high PDPS, normally the initial hit is enough to kill any white or magic mob. When it comes to rares and unique enemies, you will see that the damage over time from your bleed and poison, since you have such high scaling on both, will quickly whittle them away. Because you receive no extra damage from the critical strikes, that doesn't make you immune to status effect elements applied through crits, such as shock, ignite, and freeze. So watch out and keep that in mind when you're mapping, especially at higher tier maps. Overall, you're a melee build. You run the risk of being melee. As far as melee builds go, it is quite good. The main downside is the fact that Starforge is a sword, which means you can't use superior skills such as Earthquake, and it is a sad day when I say that Cyclone is not considered a superior skill. That about wraps it up. I'm Matt Lighty. This has been Starforge Dot or Damage Over Time Cyclone. It functions well. It feels good. It's extremely expensive, and it's still subpar to half the builds in the field right now. All's well that ends well. Have a good day, guys. Take it easy.